Back at it again at the gym. Excited to hit a back day. Got a little braid in. I guess we haven't done a proper catch up since the Gymshark Lift Miami event, which was so amazing. As always, those events are so fun and fulfilling and just cloud nine for me. I love them so much. After that trip to Miami, we then went back to Florida and looked at houses. And I'm pretty sure we found something. I will keep you updated on that too. Honestly, like every day. I'm like, I can't wait to be in this new house. So it's really, really exciting. I just cannot wait to have a little home and I'm just feeling really, really grateful right now. So that's a little baby update. Let's head to the gym and let's get this lift. Cool. All right, we're starting off the morning with pre-workout, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Delicious. I've got, I'd say three fourths of a scoop. I don't ever do a full scoop. It's like between a half and three fourths of a scoop of a sour cherry. Pre workout, this is so freaking good. I love this flavor because it mixes so well with yeah. strawberry freaking first. You guys, making this is so fun, like, so sick. I only have a couple bottles left, and I know a lot of you are out of stock, so let's make some things happen. I really needed the caffeine today, you guys. Like, I'm not super, super big into coffee or anything, so like, pre workout normally is the only caffeine I have. <sighs> I just needed a little pep in my step. I was like yawning. I'm like driving here today and I'm like, oh. hello, hello. Wait, I gotta make sure. Can you see my head when I do the pull up? We've got an assistant band, pull up bar, and I'm stepping on a box. We're gonna do pull ups. Cause you know, we wanna get better at pull ups. So we're gonna do three sets of 10. I've already done two sets. And uh, this is the last set. Tuck our little feet in here. <sighs> so I also just realized that you can press play and pause your headphones by pressing the circle thing down. I've always like had to run over to my phone and press play and stop and I'm just like, wow, wow, okay. <laughs> Exercise two is one that I typically don't do. This is definitely more of like a full body day move. I just really feel like doing it today. So I'm gonna mix it up and throw it into the routine. It's gonna be kind of an RDL bent over row. So you go ahead and grab the bar. You launch off, take a step back. We're gonna go down like we're in that RDL. Do an upright row. Stand up, complete that deadlift movement. Go down, do a row, come up. We'll go ahead and do 10. If you're a little bit new and that's uncomfortable to you, just do three sets of 10, four rows. You can do overhand rows or underhand grip. Both are gonna work great. All right, next up are gonna be lap pull downs, which are such a staple for every single back day. Do them every back day. That's all I gotta say. So I've got a bench, 
One set of arm and leg is gonna be on the bench while the other is gonna be, one's on the floor and one holds the dumbbell. So this is gonna be the position. We're hitting our mid back. We're gonna eight, let's go. Switch, and note when I'm doing it, I'm not like coming up like this. You kind of drag your elbow back a little bit for this movement. The only thing about unilateral movements I hate, you gotta do it on both sides every time. Let's go. Next up, we've got bicep curls. You guys know I love to throw in biceps on a back day. So I'm doing it on the cables. You could do easy bar, you could do straight bar, you could do dumbbells, whatever you feel like doing for bicep curls. Sometimes I just love the cable because there's even a little bit of like resistance with that cord coming down and up. I don't know, I just like it. I like all of them. So I'm just doing this today, it's what I choose. But again, if you don't wanna do this on a cable machine, the cables are busy, grab a pair of dumbbells, grab an easy bar, preloaded bar, whatever, and do some curls. Some air, <sighs> intrusive thoughts. All right, I've got it set to 50, I've got my bar. I've just got the little cable bar here. The cable bar, no. I've just got the little straight bar here. You can even use like one of the curved easy bars if you really want to for curls, that's fine too. Whenever your palm is facing up and you're doing that kind of bicep curl, you're working the shorter head versus if you do a candlestick fist and you're doing more of that hammer curl that's targeting your longer head of that bicep muzzle, both literally still work your biceps. But in case you were curious about that, breaking down some anatomy for ya. We're gonna back it up, back, back it up. Some curls, three sets of 10. Yes. All right, when it also comes to bicep curls, you always want your elbows glued in tight to your side. You don't want them splayed out. You really want to target that bicep. Keep them locked in. You guys know I also like to throw in rear delts on back day, so. Ooh, this is a little bit heavy. I like to do double cables like this, the cable flies, but I don't have that. So we're gonna try to do single arm. We'll see how this goes. With these, I'm gonna brace with one hand. I'm gonna pull out, keeping a slight bend in my elbow as I pull. My goal is to be working that rear delt. I'm not trying to extend here at the elbow. This is a fixed position with this motion, this movement pattern, okay? I'm not like bringing the cable out like that. That's gonna be more tricep. We're keeping the arm in the fixed position and doing that fly. It's basically like a rear delt fly, right? That reverse fly, if you wanna know what that movement pattern is. Okay, got eight of the heavier weight, so eight's gonna have to do the arm. And now you made it, but I already played this. Not interested. Open your eyes, let's get it done. Take my hand, just follow me. Shadow me, I won. Oh, oh, the sky is on fire. That actually worked pretty well. I was a little bit nervous. That's tough, but it's good. What's so funny is yesterday, <clears throat> let me stand up. Yesterday I came back to the gym and it had been a while and I was like, oh my gosh, I missed the gym. Like, I missed my gym. I put so much time and effort and attention into this. It's actually insane how much I put into this gym. Like I remember yesterday, that's pretty, or yesterday. Like last year, this gym was the hugest project. I would be here like every day, all day, redoing everything. And I'm like, I literally never even did a gym tour. I never did it before and after. I never did anything and I'm like, now I'm pretty much leaving. I'm like, what the heck, Brittany? What, I missed so much, but last year just was not it for me. So many missed opportunities, but it is what it is. I wish you guys had seen what it looked like before and what it looks like now. It's insane. I need to do a gym tour. So hopefully I can like clean things up and then I'm just gonna do it with what I have. It's not 100% finished but I don't care I still just like want to have that out there because I put so 
much time and attention and detail into this gym. And I'm like kind of bummed I wasn't able to use it the way I wanted to, but it is what it is. Like you live and you learn. I did the best I could and I'm still able to work out in here some days of the week, so it's really fun. I'll give you an example that we never finished the flooring around the sink. So this is what all of the flooring looked like before. This is the before. And then now everything looks like this, the speckled gym flooring but this is what it started. And all of these walls were just white and there was like boards and old junk all over the walls. So we painted the whole thing, did all the flooring, built all of the machines, got the mirror installed. I mean, really, we did so much and I'm like, I'm a little bit sad that we're gonna be leaving it, but at the same time, I hope I can just use it to the best, make the most of it while we're still here. Today's workout was really good, but I forgot I have a massage today and I have a meeting soon and that workout took me a little bit longer than anticipated. So I need to go home, shower, eat, get ready for my meeting. So I'm not going to be able to go to the store right now, which is a bummer. Hopefully I can go a little bit later and get the things that I need. But for now, let's head home, shower, get ready and, and eat. Also, I love this water. I love this water bottle so much. It makes me feel so cool and so special. Okay, bye. Okay, you guys, so I got home from the gym. The audio is gonna be so bad, I'm sorry. Got home from the gym, showered, didn't wash my hair, which I needed to do, but I didn't. I forgot about it. I put a whole thing of self tanner on, like made sure not to wash off my mascara in the shower. And then I get out, put all my self tanner on everywhere. And I say, I have a massage in 30 minutes. I had to hop back in the shower and rinse all of my self tanner off. And that, that hurt. Cause self tanner is not cheap. Well, where was my mind? But we're headed to a massage. I was gifted this massage over a year ago, but it's so hard for me to book anything for myself. So I was like, Brittany, you're moving soon. You gotta do it now or never. So let's go relax and wine. Darian is off from studying. So I gotta go do something for myself. Let's do it. Super cozy. It's like fuzzy on the inside. was so amazing. I am so grateful for that gift card. That was such a relaxing, luxurious, amazing experience to have. And honestly, I got a nice hour long full body massage, a lot of work in my shoulders, and even a little bit on my, like a head massage. I was like, ooh, a lot of foot massage, calf, like everything. It felt so good. And then afterward, I got to sit in the sauna. I got to have some cold, crisp grapes. That was a game changer. Cold grapes in a hot sauna. I was like, this is such an amazing experience. And then I got to have some water, a eucalyptus towel. I was like so calmed and relaxed. I was wondering if I was gonna have a big donut ring from like laying down on the massage table, but I didn't. And honestly, that was just a 10 out of 10 experience. Oh, I wish I could relax and do that every week. Like my body needs that, but not in the cards for <coughs> expense wise, but that was amazing. And now, I don't even know what time it is. 3.25? Gotta still go to the store. Probably get some other things done. So we'll see what else is in store for the rest of the day. Let's make a protein shake. I'm gonna use this bean vanilla and see what frozen fruit I have. Add some spinach in. Maybe spinach. Actually, that's more of a smoothie. We're doing a protein shake. Yeah, let's see what we've got. Got water, mixed fruit, banana, some protein. 20 more grams of protein in this bad boy. <laughs> Let's get a cup. I'm gonna pick this one today. My cute butterfly straw. This is so good. I'll say the only bad thing about having a berry smoothie Sometimes you get the seeds all stuck in your teeth, but this is so good. Beans vanilla protein is so freaking great. The flavor is phenomenal. 
It's like ice creamy, it's like soft serve. It's such a great vanilla. Yummy, yummy. All right, I'm gonna head back to work. It is currently snowing outside. 30 days, 30 days left. I just don't know how I feel about it snowing mid-March. It's just not for me, but we've almost made it. I'm home from the gym and I wanted to do a little try on haul for you guys. There are so many good pieces that I feel like Gymshark used to do like these huge massive drops, right? Like it'd be like, everybody's wearing the same collection. It's like, boom, everybody gets the one thing, but now they're just trickling pieces out here and there. And it's hard for me to like keep up with everything that has been dropped. I'm trying to get back on top of it of sharing them when they drop. So I just got this package. I'm gonna do four sports bras that I love that you should try and snag while you can. The first one is gonna be the one shoulder bra. I'm obsessed with this. I feel like a lot of us were already wearing the bandeau, similar neckline, but we'd flip the strap over. But now we just have a double strap here and it's like a one arm. This is like push day, baby. This is such a fire bra. I love it. The next bra is going to be Elevate. So this is the Elevate Twist. So stunning, so delicate, dainty, such a that girl vibe. It definitely is low impact though. Like I'm not doing any kind of jumping, any kind of crazy movements with it maybe a push day maybe a leg day or like a sauna day where i'm doing yoga like a class type ordeal so that's kind of the vibes of this bra since it is lower impact but it is just so gorgeous and the shorts are that new lift i love them they are so incredibly flattering i these are definitely my most worn shorts and leggings i cannot get enough of them okay 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 this is one of my favorites. This has great support. So I could still do things. I'm not falling out. I'm not like worried about a nip slip, but the back is still so open. Look at this, look at the back. That is so sick. This is like what my dreams have been made of. Oh, I'm just doing pull-ups. Oh, is that right? My back is looking good. That's right, that's right. But you still have like nice coverage in the front so I can like do bicep curls on back day and I'm not like spilling out everywhere or like worried about things. So I stand and love this bra. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I know it comes in a bunch of different colors. Also the new mesh shorts, like the men's, they're out. I did size down this time to an extra small and I love it even more so they fit even better and not as baggy. So I'm looking like a gym PE coach last but certainly not least probably my favorite bra in the back day gain is probably two see those are pretty neck and neck but is this new halter bra i just feel like this cuts where a bra should a lot of times they'll just like extend them a little too long but i love how cut short it is right here as well as it gives a better plunge than the one previously it's still giving support though while i need to work out and do whatever i need to the big thing is that it's a halter bra guys look at this are you freaking kidding me? See ya, see ya. Oh. I am so excited, I love this bra. I think I definitely am gonna wear this outfit today. I was like between so many other things, but I'm like, I just feel like I need to wear this today. It's just spicy and fiery and I love it. And you guys, Brit always gives you 10% off your Gymshark order. So if you wanna snag something, do it. We just had the friends and family sale, which was so nice to be able to get things on sale. And let me set you down. I kinda wanna sit and chat for a sec. It's just been a minute. I kinda wanna chat. Let's see, hopefully my office isn't too messy. I've been doing kind of a decent job at trying to make it a little bit cleaner. So I guess I wanna do like a little update for fun. We did end up picking a house. We did put an offer in. Offer was accepted. Inspection went through everything has gone through everything is good like we put our escrow in or like when you put earnest money in i think like you just give them a little deposit and um we close in about a month i cannot wait like i said earlier it is snowing right now and honestly i am in a lot better place mentally i'll talk about that in a second but i am just very excited i feel like during a nice life so if you guys have if you're new, I'll just give you a spiel. And even if you've been here for a while, you probably still don't know a lot of this. So Darian and I, we started dating when he was in nursing school. Like all we've known is school together. So I helped him through nursing school. I've worked. After nursing school, he did get a really great job at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. And I grew up an army brat, you guys. So I don't care to live, like I will live anywhere. So he was like, I want to go at the best hospital. And I was like, do it. Like, why not apply? See if you get in. He got in. It was such a great job. I was like, let's do it. We'll move there. I don't care. Like, 
let's do it. My family was living in Germany at the time. Like there's no way I was going to be by them at all. So I was like, let's have a fun adventure. You got your dream job. You worked so hard for this. Like, let's do it. So we moved to Rochester and that's kind of when I first started social media too. I was working in city hall. So my previous job, I was a wedding and event planner. There really wasn't space for that in this new city. Like Rochester is a little bit smaller. So I worked in city hall, like with the mayor and like the clerk's office and stuff like that. So that was really fun. And all my lunch breaks, that's when I would take my laptop and like try to edit a YouTube video and like try to work. And that's like when I first started getting into working out and lifting seriously. And after that for a while, we were there for like a year, year and a half, two years. I don't know. Darian was like, hey, I want to kind of live by family. Like I miss my brothers. I miss people. And Minnesota's just kind of cold and we didn't know anybody there. So we were like, okay, he got a job down in the ICU there. His plan was always to be a CRNA, Certified Registered Nurse Anesthetist. They do the same thing as an anesthesiologist. They're the person who's giving you, they manage your pain, giving you epidurals. Most of the time you probably have a CRNA running your case. The anesthesiologist is just the person who can carry multiple cases at a time. So the CRNA is probably doing your anesthetic, but an anesthesiologist will oversee like 10 cases at a time. So if you're doing like 10 surgeries, a CRNA is in each of those, but an anesthesiologist is kind of overseeing all 10, if that makes sense. So he's always known he's wanted to do this. You have to work in the ICU for a couple years before you can even apply to school. So he had his work experience in the Mayo Clinic. He had his work experience down in Arizona. He worked for two years in a trauma ICU, like had to work through COVID in the trauma ICU. And that's right after we had Vinny. Like that was, that was such a crazy time. Like I was so scared every day. The height of the pandemic doing bedside nursing was in the ICU was just horrible. I genuinely just felt so bad for him. And I just tried to support him like as much as I possibly could through that. And social media started to pick up while we lived in Arizona, which was really, really cool. And right before we moved to Minnesota or to Michigan, I signed with Gymshark, which is always a dream. I worked with them previously before I had Vinny, but we kind of took a break while I had Vinny and now we are working again. I literally love Gymshark so much and Beam also love them so much. So he worked in the ICU for a little bit through the pandemic, through COVID, which was absolutely insane. He f then got an offer into MSU and Darian, I, I'm gonna share this because maybe somebody's trying to do the same path as him or interested in this. So he bought like this program or this software that he put in his critiques, like what he wants in a school. He did so much research. I mean, this was like hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of research. And he shadowed so much to make sure this was the job he wanted. And this is something he's known he's wanted since he was 18. It's like, this has been a 10 year process for him of having to do undergrad nursing school. You have to have work experience before you can even apply, getting in, having to wait the year by the time you're accepted to when school actually starts and then the three years of school. So like it is a long career path for him and I've just been there since day, like from the beginning. So, so he got into, again, the school in Michigan. He has loved it. It is the absolute best program, hands down. I love the professors because we've had like some obviously issues come up and they've been like understanding of having Darian needing to take like a week off for when I had to have surgery and stuff like that. Like they've been just really cool and awesome. On the flip side, it's been quite literally insane. The past three years has been insane through school. Like CRNA school is so intense you can't hold a job. So I've been the one that's been, again, financially supporting, which I honestly take a lot of pride in. Like I have really enjoyed supporting Darian and Vinny and raising Vinny and like putting in that time. And just, I love what I do. Like I literally love it. I never, ever, 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 ever want to stop. So to be able to do something that I love while being a mom, while helping support Darian, like I thank God every night for being in this position. And like, I never want to take it for granted. I always want to try, push myself, work hard and, like prove to you guys that this is worth it. That like, I don't know. I'm just very, very grateful. His CRNA program is a doctorate. And with a doctorate, the way he wanted to do a school, like he picked the school because it is like course loaded. So like you do your doctorate, you do all of your like learning tests, exams. He still has exams now, but like the huge didactics, like the huge part of it is front loaded. And then you start doing clinicals. Then you start going into the hospital instead of kind of mingling both together. And so the first year was like a lot of those studies on campus a lot. And 
like where we lived, we tried to live in the middle of where his school campus is and then like where a lot of the hospitals are that he's gonna be going to. So it's been just such a mix. He's been gone so much. His shifts in the hospital are very long, like 12 hours. Sometimes he'll work four days there, five days or four days in the hospital, one day on campus far away and then he'll come home and have to study because he has tests. Like it is, let me put my phone on silent. It is just nonstop all the time. But I feel like we've been able to try to find like pockets here and there for us to still take care of our relationship, take care of our family, like get away. And I don't know, it's just been really cool. And also I, this is just coming out of nowhere. I don't know why I'm telling all of this story. I just feel like sharing it because like we're such at the tail end of everything. So now we are a month away. Darian has had his job lined up for almost over a year now. Like he has been locked in. What's cool about the medical program is like they're always short staffed. Like always they're always looking for people so he had a ton of offers and he got to pick which one he wanted to and that's why we were going to the greater like tampa area for so long as we were checking out clearwater st p you know even going down south and seeing what hospital system he wanted to work at finally he picked one that he loved and i'm so excited for him to start and he doesn't start working for a couple of months post-graduation he has a couple of months off which is going to be nice to be able to just hang out with each other and like catch up and enjoy our new house and our new city and everything so really really looking forward to that but this has been such a phase of life and now that it's coming to a close again i feel like my mental health is getting a lot better because it's coming to a close i've also seeked out a lot of outside help that i just feel like sharing because with such a crazy busy schedule with a little bit lack of support because we don't have family out here with the miscarriage the ectopic pregnancy the surgery that i had to go through last year and the loss and the grief i feel like that kind of triggered a really plummeted mental health crisis for me and like a month ago now i'd say like three weeks ago i finally reached out and am getting the help that i need and it has completely changed my life i definitely feel I feel incredible like I if you listen to the podcast you've heard me talk about like how I have like paralyzing anxiety sometimes and like I just can't do simple tasks because like my anxiety and everything is so calm now like I feel so at peace I feel so happy it has been such a long time since I felt happy it's snowing outside and this would normally send me into a spiral of like just such negativity and I'm like it's okay like I'm fine and I think it's two parts, both getting help and both knowing that we're almost there. The light is almost at the, we're almost there. I'm just so excited and proud of like getting through these past three years of literally balancing so much all the time. And I just kind of want to give like the encouragement that you can do this too. Like whether you're the person who's going through it, like you're Darian, you're the one who's trying to get through school and work and whatever it is, or if you're the person who's supporting the person doing that and also trying to hold down the fort, like there's just so many times and it's just opened my eyes up so wide of like, everybody has things going on. Everybody's trying to juggle many different things and through it all, it's been so important for me not to lose myself and it's been so important for us to make sure that we still are taking care of our relationship and our family, even though we're both extremely busy. And it's just taught me so many life lessons this past phase of life. And I am really grateful for it. The struggle has been horrible. Like my mental health has really suffered for it. I am getting the help that I need and every, like I feel so much better, but it was definitely like the worst times but I am so excited for the future because I've grown so much for it. Like we've grown so much through all the struggle and the trial. And now it's like, you never have to go back to school and never have to worry about job. It's just crazy. Like, I think what I'm getting at is sacrifice. Like, I think a lot of times we get impatient and we want things now. And like getting in, grinding, doing the work and knowing that you're sacrificing things now for the better purpose in the future. Like it is worth it and there were so many times and days where you know you question oh is this going to be worth it is this going to be worth it but you just put your head down and keep going and then at the end you're like well I'm so proud I did that like I'm so proud of Darian for sticking through school and doing such an amazing job he seriously has like seven days left at the hospital one board prep exam and boards that is the only thing 
he has left. I am so proud of him and it's been so cool and inspiring to cheer him on and I really appreciate you guys cheering him on too, especially like if you're part of the podcast, you guys have just been so cool and nice about everything. I just wanna like encourage you guys if you're trying to like do a cool career, but it might take a while or you're gonna have to have a lot of sacrifice. Like if it's something you really wanna do, it is worth it even though it feels like it's gonna be such a huge sacrifice. I don't know. I don't know if you needed to hear that, but that's just how I feel right now. Uh, we just almost made it and I know you guys could make it too. So no matter what kind of craziness you have on, like I just wanna give those words of encouragement of like, you can do it. I feel like I have so much like exciting things going on with the house. There's been so many calls and meetings and also like working on selling the gym here, like all of the equipment, trying to do like a small going away event here in my gym before, before we sell all the equipment. And yeah, there's nothing really that needs to be done to the house that we bought in Florida. We just kind of want to like get it painted and cleaned before we move in. So when I go to sign for closing, cause Darian has to stay here, I'm hoping to get those items also done. And then we literally come back for graduation, pack up and leave. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. Wow. Like a new chapter, a new life, a new identity, a new everything is about to emerge in the next couple months. And I am so ready and I'm so excited. And thank you guys for sticking around for everything. It's been really cool to be able to have done this with you. At some point it feels like I've been here my whole entire life. But another part of me is like, wow, this flew by. Like I can't believe we're already done because we've been quite literally on this road since 2015. So it has almost been 10 years. I think for Darian it has been 10 years, but I didn't start dating him until he, his first semester in the nursing program. <laughs> Literally we've been through this thing and he's almost done. Oh my gosh, you guys, I got him like fun gifts and like I just am gonna celebrate the heck out of him. I'm so freaking happy and proud of him and just, mm, just love him so much. So yeah, okay. Um, that's it for today's YouTube video. It was just, Fun little chit chat, little haul, little workout, and I'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye. Mwah.